people have been watching this desperate battle for two hours between the police and Francis Two Gun Crowley, a 20 year old boy bandit wanted for two murders. 700 shots have been fired and gas bombs thrown into the rooms on the top floor of a house in West 90th Street where Crowley, his sweetheart Helen Walsh, and Rudolph Duringer, another murderer, have been hiding. Commissioner Mulroney is there with 150 police and detectives. Finally, the young killer, shot five times in the legs and arms, is brought out of the house to an ambulance to be rushed to Bellevue Hospital. This boy, who is only five feet three inches tall and a stripling, is wanted for cold-blooded murder of policeman Frederick Hirsch of North Merrick, Long Island, and for aiding his pal Duringer in the killing of Virginia Brannan, a 10 cents a dance girl. And now comes the most shocking feature of this real-life drama, the capture of the girl in the case, just past 16. But a dreadful reflection on present-day conditions as this bedraggled creature is dragged from the scene of battle to make the confession that is expected to send Crowley to the chair. It was this child who sat in the car as Crowley did his killing and who was at his side in other desperate ventures. It's old, but it's true. Crime does not pay. The road of the criminal leads only to destruction.